your boy Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 59. We got a special guest in the building. Young superstar, rapper, singer, but she do more singing, though. We got uh, Aaliyah Bryant. What's going on? What's good with you? Not much, chilling. This is our uh, her first podcast. Her first interview, so you know she about to blow up because she on my shit. So, you know, <laughs> you know what it is. Uh, so, what's good? You everything good, though? Yeah. Yeah, it's been working. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, we start off everything with a, uh, a salute me while I'm here. So, you got to go ahead. I know you ain't got no kids. You know no. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you got to salute somebody, but it got to be out the norm. So, it can't be mom, dad, brother, sister. It got to be somebody out of that picture. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we wait for people to pass away. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Give them their flowers. So, you got somebody in mind? Yeah, I'll probably have to say, like, my engineer, yeah. you know, because I've been rocking with him ever since I started making music, and yeah. then when the pandemic came and stuff like that, you know, he was still mixing my stuff. A lot of stuff started closing and stuff, so, you know, he still had me, so yeah. I have to say, Gage, that's my engineer, shout out to him for real, because, you know, he always been looking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Do we keep it real with you, though, in the studio? Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. He tell me, you know, hit this, try and hit that, you know what I'm saying? yeah. So I can, like, love with stuff right and everything just be on point. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Y'all got a good relationship. Like, do you got to pay every time? Or sometimes he'll be like, you good? Like, or is it like See, <laughs> it's crazy because, like, when I first started, you know, I had to pay, obviously. Yeah. And then when the pandemic came, you know, I couldn't be in the studio with him, obviously. But, you know, I still somehow was able to record. Then I sent it to him. For sure. And then he started doing out of love. That's yeah. why I said I had to salute him because he ain't had to do that. I, nah. You know what I'm saying? He could still be like... Um, you gonna have to pay me, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. I have to salute him for sure. Yeah, once you get somebody like that, though, it'd it be all love. It then be easier for you, cause you ain't gotta worry about. Dang, I ain't got this. Yeah. One hundred or something like that. Yeah. Like, cause that them 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 studio sessions get pricey. Yeah. That's probably why I stopped doing rap, dog. Cause I be I'm cheap as hell. I'm, <laughs> I can't be paying that joke like dog fifty. Like man, I pass. I record that joke on my iPhone. <laughs> my salute though gonna go to uh we was talking about uh Joe Button last night. You know what I'm saying? Cause he the reason why I started the podcast. So uh, the Joe Button podcast, he got his own podcast network. You need to go ahead and holler at your boy. He got uh, you know what I'm saying? He got a couple of podcasts on there, like three shows. Uh, they doing that one jump with um, what's the name of that uh stuff he just got, got with, the uh, the, you 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 get paid for watching a podcast. Um, what you, what are we talking about? The uh the stuff that he just he just uh signed with, so he he a part of they, um oh Patreon yeah Patreon. So he rocking with Patreon. He got a, a position with Patreon, and um he getting paid. For doing it, you know what I'm saying, your podcast show. So shout out to Joe Button, you know what I'm saying, best podcast at the Mons. You know what I'm saying, shout him out and his whole little crew. So uh, with you, it's funny with you because you're the first person I had that's young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a little weird that you, you know what I'm saying, 17. you 17, right? Yeah. So you were born what, 03? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were born, it was my senior year in high school. Mm. So and you were a senior now, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. When you said that, young, I just like, I just immediately thought about how old I am. Like, man, this time go by too quick, but tell me about you growing up, where you from, who in the household? All right, um, growing up, it was cool, you know, regular struggles, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Everyday life thing, really, you know, it's just all about overcoming it, for real. For sure. Um, from Detroit, you know, but growing up, I moved around a lot, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I live with my brother and my mama. Mm. That's really it for real. Are you from the where you where, where you where you where you from? East West. East. East side. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's thank God. Somebody finally east side on this boy. Where, <laughs> uh, where you where, where, what area you grew up in mainly though? Um, Macomb. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what high, high school? What high school you? Uh, what high school you at? Dakota. Dakota. All right, Dakota. We played them when I was uh playing basketball. I beat the hell out of them. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> so no, but but go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. You say is is you moms and bro. So uh, pops wasn't around like that. Yeah, he was around, but you know, in and out type thing, really. Yeah. But y'all got a relationship, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what's up, what's up. Now we talk about music and stuff. A lot of times you listen to music based on you know what I'm saying your mm -hmm. parents or your older siblings. So who are some people you was you was rocking with just because your mom was playing them or your brother or something? Mm, mainly gospel music. That was really just it for real. Yeah, no like, rap. I mean, you know, Tupac stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> but I mainly listen to like and heard like gospel for real. Yeah. So. Hey, yeah, Tupac. Everybody got. It. If you don't know Tupac, something wrong. Yeah. Do you do you listen to Tupac? Like that's yeah, I listen to Tupac. You know, on no, the radio. Young. Yeah. You might, you might say you know some people don't even put no respect on Tupac's name. That's the. No, he he. You know he, he hard. Dope. Yeah, he hard. Yeah, but, you know, for sure. I gotta really like be on that type of time for real. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Now growing up, like like you said, struggles and stuff and moving around. Cause shoot, I I ain't probably had like 
damn near 40 different addresses. Mm. So, <laughs> for real. So, I mean, like, like y'all was moving around a whole lot. Was it hard for you, like, you know what I'm saying, make friends and, and get adjusted because y'all was on the fly or, like, mm. it was Well, easy. really, like, you know, mainly had us moving around just, like, you know, the evictions and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was, like, a main kind of like an issue at the time yeah but like and getting adjusted it wasn't really no problem yeah you know what i'm saying because i stayed to myself anyway so yeah. it's like rather i go here or go there you know yeah yeah for so. sure for sure now you coming up what was you doing outside of music like was you in the sports what what was you like quiet chill like how was you um i used to dance yeah. and then like my middle school year i was like playing football and basketball stuff like that yeah. but then like now, I'm just like really just chilling yeah. on music and you know my future stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you say you, you playing football and basketball. Was you good? Oh yeah, I was hard. I used to be scared <laughs> to play football though. I ain't gonna lie. And then like I used to play with boys and stuff. They you know they got me a little tough. So I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, I could do this. Yeah. So yeah, I got into that. No, cause uh, I know this one girl. Cause I coached basketball for middle school and stuff like that. And I know this one girl. She played football and she hooped and stuff like that. Mm. What up, cuz? So, uh, but no, how was so? How was you as a hooper though? That's important, cause I'm a I'm a shooter. That's all I am for real. Like yeah. I can't do all them layups and stuff. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn, but I'm a shooter for real. Can I'm she, dangerous with, with that. Yeah, she can. <laughs> she, she can throw down for sure. Oh yeah. That's, so you so that was never nothing like like okay I wanna I wanna hoop for real I wanna do this for real like oh that was just for the time being. It was kind of like a time being thing. But at the same time, you know, when you young, young, it's like, oh, I'm about to be in the, like, WNBA type stuff, you know? Yeah. But it was just for fun, for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, what middle school you went to? Middle school. Oh, shit. Lance Cruz. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Lance, and that's what you was playing basketball? You didn't play in high school? No, I ain't play. I play outside of school. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so... So you wasn't like, man, forget that. I ain't about to be in no practice. Yeah, no. No structure there. No. I'm good on that part. All right, so that's what's funny with you, cause you 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 twelfth grader. Mm. We going through the whole little, you know, what I'm saying COVID stuff. Mm. How how was that? Like last year, you spent like basically your last two years at the crib. Mm -hmm. Like how how is that? Like you you good with there? Or you yeah, like, I liked you, it. I mean, I had no problem. You don't miss being in school? Not for real. I mean, I don't <laughs> I don't really mess with anybody, so it's like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Some people they be ready to like gang gang up in the hallway, but <laughs> it really like it's really no different for real, cause all I'm doing is hitting the class. So you know. Yeah. So are y'all back in school or you still doing Zoom? I'm doing both. Okay. So what, how how how's that? Like how y'all? Two days I'm in school and then the other three days I'm um at home. Yeah. Yeah. So you ain't like damn. I'm about to miss homecoming, prom coming up. Like, no, this, for this real. Your last year been, yeah, I know, but I haven't <laughs> been tripping about it for real. Like I don't know. Yeah. It's not you you really can do for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you no, can't just dwell on it. It seemed like you ready because uh I be peeping on your um on your story. You be like three months left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, well, you, you ready yeah. to get about that thing, huh? Yeah. Don't, don't rush it, though. No, I ain't <laughs> rushing it, but I'm ready at the same time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Trust me, I was ready, too. But then it was like that that, that first year out, I'm like, dang, I sure do miss going to school. Like, you're going to look up, you're going to be about 30, and you're going to be like, dang, I, I missed when I was 17. Like, yeah. That's how I jump B for real. So you so you, after graduation, what's your, uh, what's your, what's your plans? Like, are you about to go... Full, full with the music, or are you about to go to school? Like, I'm gonna go to school, but I'm most definitely like wherever this music takes me, I'm gonna just you know go off on that for real. Yeah, what, what school? What school you trying to go to? You trying to stay around the city? Yeah, I ain't going out nowhere. Why not? Know? You might want to get out this boy for real. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm gonna just stay local for nah. real. You so you gonna do like a little JUCO or like what you trying to do? I'm gonna just probably do like community college type stuff. Yeah, no, you should get out here though. Like you, maybe that first year you stay here, but then get get your ass up out of here, for real. Cause sometimes when you stay around, like even with the music or, mm -hmm. or just just life in general, like when I was getting out of high school, I was on the same tip. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna stay at the crib. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna go nowhere. I got moms and little bro at the crib, so I can't leave. Yeah. But then you look up like, you, well, you 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 kind of like a homebody seem mm -hmm. like, but you gonna be around the same people doing the same thing. So it depends on you and your mindset though. Yeah. Cause if you, and then once you go out of school, shoot, then you can start meeting people with the music, mm -hmm. and that might go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Get your buzz a little bit higher. So, yeah. So just think about it. You know, after that first year, you'd be like, yeah, you know what? Shout was right. I'm about to get yeah. up hell about Michigan and start just jump for real. Cause the South is where it's at. I went to uh, Texas, like, and you, if you do it right, you'll be straight. So yeah, what you want to go to school for? You got some things in mind besides just just doing the music too? I um criminal law. Okay. I was criminal law. Oh sure. yeah. Well, what, what what made you want to do that? 
just something that's been on my mind for real, to be honest. Yeah, yeah you know, you seem like you just to yourself though, like. So I know you ain't. We ain't got to talk to you about staying away from the wrong dudes, do we? Staying away. Like I know, bro, be like, dog, don't mess with this type of dude. Oh like, no, oh no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Valentine's Day came up. People see Ali on the on 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 the come up, like, oh, she rap, she sing. Yeah. How you doing? Like, you gotta and stay no, away. it ain't none of that. Yeah, it ain't stay away from. Stay away yeah. from. I got a little daughter. She two months old, and I'm already thinking about that jump. Like, yeah. No, nah, we ain't we ain't playing with that jump. We about to be, yeah, Martin and, and Will Smith from Bad Boys. Like, dog, who are you, cuz? Get the hell out of here. So you say you going to college, you want to go to the little JUCO, but you mm. want to focus on the music. Yeah. So let's talk about that. We already said that, you know what I'm saying, coming up, you was listening to gospel because of your parents, and y'all had a little Tupac sprinkling in that boy. Yeah. Once you start listening to music for yourself, who are some people you was rocking with at a young age? Like, when, when do you remember rocking with rappers, singers, whoever? Mm. Days low, for sure. Yeah. Um. Who else? Days low for straight. I don't think I don't think yeah. mad about her. She she be too inconsistent though. Like with her music. Yeah, I don't be seeing her enough. I need to see her more. At the try me. You don't follow on Instagram or nothing. I mean, I follow on Instagram, but I'm not. I ain't hearing them, them tapes. I ain't hearing them projects. Yeah. yeah. You gotta be out here. You gotta be visible, especially yeah. when she was hot. She should just. She should just kept going with that junk. Yeah. Cause you got somebody like who just started Meg. Meg, Meg for instance, she a female. She do music. She rap. So when she took off, she you see her everywhere. New song all the time. So Days Loaf is cold, like don't get me wrong, but I just don't see enough of her. Nisha and Shea hard too though. Yeah, Nisha and Shea cold, yeah. yeah. And you from Detroit, you need to come on the show too. Yeah, she said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, who else, who, who some other people you rocking with like? Um, it ain't got to be using rap, just singing too. Singing. Because you do, you do sing. Um, dang. You, know, you about, I don't rock with nobody, huh? <laughs> no, I do. I'm just trying to like think of their names. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Keisha Cole, she hard. Keisha, Keisha yeah. Cole. Yeah. Dang, yeah, she you. Hard. I'm surprised you mess with Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole's straight though. She got that. She got that breakup. I'm I'm mad at every dude music and stuff. You seem surprised. Yeah. She, Keisha Cole ain't really like. No people don't really talk about her like that. Yeah. Like she I'm hard. surprised you ain't, like like my, like people your age. How about that? All right, cuz. People your age, like, it seemed like you were the first person you would say was Nicki Minaj. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, Nicki, she hard. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, it's not like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, I don't know. We ain't finna get into that. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> Keisha, she hard. No, as you can see, you gotta go back to Nicki Minaj when she was with Gucci Man. And yeah, when, yeah. That's when she was cold. Like, when she first, first signed with Young Money, she was cold. But yeah. then, of course, you know, everybody, it might happen to you. Might crossover, start trying to do pop music. They be like, "Hey, uh, Aaliyah, you gotta do this." You know what I'm saying? Switch it up, change it up. Depends on how you want to drop. Yeah. Are you gonna stay? Are you gonna stay loyal to your to to the crab, or are you gonna switch up for the for that paper? Depends on you, though, for real. So what? Uh, you doing the you doing the music? You say you ain't rocking nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but but days low at Keisha Cole, and you saying that like, you know what I'm saying what you grew up on. But tell me like. What age was you when you start writing music or or getting music? Wanted you know what I'm saying do that. I started at like fourteen. Yeah. So that's been like about three years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. You said what? Like what started me making music? Yeah, what started you? What what was like? So my my brother, like when he first started, he used to like come home and stuff from the studio. He used to show me his songs and stuff. So yeah. I'm like, if this nigga can do it, I know I can do it. So, yeah. you know, I started going in my room, started, like, you know, yeah. writing and stuff like that. And then, like, I would show him. I'd be like, you know, listen to this, all this other stuff. He'd be like, you get in there, you get in there. Mm. But, I like, he kept saying it every time I was showing my songs. I'm like, but I'm tired of this. So, <laughs> one time I went in there, I really put some, like, you know, some motions into it. Yeah. And um, I came back to him. And, you know, he said the same thing. I'm like, forget this. Yeah. So, one day I went up to him. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, when you going to take me to the studio? Yeah. He like, one day, one day. So, like, I think it's, like, my 15th birthday he took me to the studio. I was, like, mad hype. Yeah. And um, I recorded my first song, and then, you know, it was really that. Yeah. What was the first song? Just You. Okay. That's okay. from SoundCloud. And so what you, that's what you, you got hyped him up? Like, was you, like, oh, like, when you first heard yourself, like? Oh, yeah. I was in there, for sure. Man. Um, It was really a feeling that I get in the studio, you know? It's yeah. like. This mad hype, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because a lot of times, like, when you go to the studio, it'd be different from, like, rapping or singing in your room. Mm. And then when you put those headphones on, because you'd be like, sometimes you try to rap too too much on beat, or sometimes it just don't sound right. Sometimes you got to get used to that, you know mm. what I'm saying? 
used to being in the studio recording this young. So like, was it like, was it easy for you? Yeah, it was easy because what I do is I already have like everything down pat. I make sure like when I go to the studio, everything be on point. Yeah. And if I like so called waste time, I'm just wasting time on making sure that it's on point. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it wasn't really no difference to me being in the studio and having the headphones in in and everything like that. It's like it makes stuff more real to me. Yeah, you know for what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be feeling good. I guess I was the only one who was trash and put them headphones on, just <laughs> rapping like I was reading. Like, uh. <laughs> so, uh, do you be feeling like your name is Aaliyah? Of course, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You, you was named after Aaliyah singer, right? Yeah. Do you be feeling like, man, it's pressure? Like, I'm trying to do this music, I'm named after her. Like, is you mad at mom for naming you that? Like, no, no. <laughs> See, the crazy part about it was, you know, at the time when she named, because Aaliyah, you know, it's spelled A A. L I Y H. Yeah. And mine is just A L L I Y H. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was really just stuck like that. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So you don't feel no pressure from that? Like, man, no. I got I to gotta leave up to this expectation oh, of her no. name. No. Now, did you, did you uh, grow up listening to her music a little bit or not? Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit. You know, her style was mad different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, it was just different. Yeah. yeah. Now, outside your brother, because you said you kept going to him and he kept on saying, like, no, nah, you ain't ready yet. Like yeah. who, who was the first person besides your brother that you let listen to your uh, your first your first song? Probably my other brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was. That was really it for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, was and then like, who keep it real with you outside? You know, saying engineering stuff and be like, you know, Aaliyah, this this shit ain't it. Okay, like, this junk this junk trash for real. Like you know, you ain't, you ain't put no you ain't put no feelings into it because you always need that person that's mm -hmm. gonna critique you hard. So like, you saying like out of family? Yeah, who can you go to? Or if it's family, like a, a little bit both. Somebody in the family, then just one of your homies, maybe. Um, man, that's a good question. Yeah, because you need those. Don't yeah. have no yes people around you. Or like yeah. people who just going to be like, it's straight just because they think that's what you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody to be like, hey, you, you got to put some feeling into that shit. Or, or that beat wasn't right. Or, you know what I'm saying? You to need be honest some. with you, though, like it's mainly just like probably my brothers. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They those are the only ones that for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now how do you accept it though? Like if he if, if bro be like, Ali, that shit garbage. See, <laughs> criticism, like, like, like criticism, <laughs> I had to work on that. Cause yeah. like when I used to put my, my music so much and people be like, Oh no, nah, that junk trash. Yeah. You know, I used to be like, dang, you know what I'm saying? The more yeah. I got into it, I started taking in criticism and stuff like that. But you know, when they tell me like, no, this need to be this way, you know, or you know, you should work on this, yeah. I'd be like, all right, yeah, I'm on it. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, because you got people like me. Back then, somebody tell me I was trash. I'm like, I quit though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm good on this job. Like, about to be in that boy crying. Like, damn, hey, I put my heart to this song. These motherfuckers think it's trash. <laughs> so when you felt like you was dope, like, you know what? I got this. Was it from day one or like a couple songs in, a couple times in the studio? When you like, you know what? I'm kind of dope. Like, this might do something. I think. I noticed I was like cold for real when um I made this song I don't need your money is on SoundCloud mm. and everybody just want to remix it you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like yeah we yeah. in there <laughs> I don't need your money yeah sure. well, I need uh, but you about to get that money though <laughs> yeah and then people gonna be needing your money <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's all gonna come back and reverse on your on you for real for real yeah so I like, all right you go to the studio of course you probably might not need any stuff that. Older people need a studio, but what do you need to be have like a, a good studio session? You need some wings, some water. Yeah, probably just water or tea. Tea. Yeah. Oh, you don't need no. You don't need a whole bunch of people in there. So you, it should be what you and little bro, me and big bro. Yeah. That's, that's it? it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my other brother. Yeah. What studio at? East side, west side. Well, it's in um. Where's the studio? At? In Rochester. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's in Rochester. Okay. Okay. And now let's talk about beats. How do y'all go about picking beats? We on YouTube right now. Oh yeah, okay. So that's yeah. what y'all doing? Like just picking beats and just seeing what go with with, with what you got written, or you um, get a beat and then you start writing. Yeah, I get the beat and then I write. Okay, okay. No, I ain't no wrong with that. But I think somebody had told me something about it's cool getting YouTube beats and stuff like that. But just after a while, just start like like say you got a project. My homie did this. He like he got different beats from other people mm -hmm. on YouTube. But then he got like one beat that he might have bought that's like yeah that's solely his and that that could be like your single mm -hmm. and then that'd be a one like all right babe, i'm gonna put this i'm gonna push this but then once you get this i got this project and i got the rest of the songs like this or whatever so that's just something you know what i'm saying free game for you real quick all right <laughs> now how you go about writing you cool with somebody writing for you mm -mm, no you ain't good yeah, with that no, no. now what if i come up with the dopest song like uh, it, ain't, it ain't mine <laughs> i ain't gonna get it <laughs> so you ain't gonna all right let me ask mm -mm. you what about I know what about somebody give you like you know what 
Take that bra, you should put this bra in. You you turn that down too? <laughs> oh, he did done did it. Um it I look at it like it gotta be hella cold. Yeah. Like mad cold. Yeah, but yeah. you ain't finna be going around and be like, oh yeah, I gave her that bar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it ain't finna be none of that. You gotta sign a contract, like you know yeah, what? Yeah, <laughs> it know ain't that, that serious. Yeah, and so, I, like if you make it that serious, then I ain't, yeah, I ain't going for it. Yeah, cause no, I, I asked that cause like a lot of times with singers, you know, what I'm saying that be for the most part, a lot of singers don't write their own stuff or they do, but they have another writer with them and they collab on stuff. Mm -hmm. So you say you good in a collab, you want to do everything by yourself. Yeah, cause it's like at that point, if you got somebody else doing your music, then like what you doing it for? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. So how long do it take you to write a song? You get a beat, this a cold beat. How long do it take you to write the right song? Probably like a few hours. But yeah. if it's quick, it don't take that long. You write the hook first, verse? I do hook, then verse. Sometimes, like, I just probably just do verse. Okay. Okay, bad, bad, bad. Now, we do this thing called Top 3. So, you got a lot of songs out. Mm -hmm. A lot of tracks. So, I, I pick my Top 3. You pick your Top 3 and tell me why. So, my Top 3 for you is uh, is uh, On My Own. I like yeah, the uh, feeling like uh, 80s and uh, Cold Nights. Yeah. Those are three songs I like. Now you tell me your three and tell me why. Um, for those songs, it'll, it'll have to be Angels. Mm -hmm. Feeling like eighties on my own. All right, Angels. What's that about? All my angels. Yeah, talk yeah. to me. Tell me about. <laughs> tell me about that. Like, I, are we? We know what it is, but like, who are some? Who are, who are some of them people you was talking about? Um, my cousins okay. mainly. Okay. And, um, yeah. No, nobody. You ain't got like no, no, no grandma, no nothing like that. Nobody like that passed away. Or nothing. No, was... I got a grandma that passed. Okay, okay. So, what's the other two songs you said again? Feeling like eighties and um, on my own. Now that's why I thought you was rapping because you was in your rapping bed on that feeling like the eighties. Yeah, yeah. Now what, 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 what made you uh, come up with that title? Just like you know, East Side eighties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. He about made him. that song "Keep Your Head Up." Yeah. I'm listening to him like, yeah, this is it. So. When I had found that beat to like feeling like eighties, I'm like, yeah, this like some vibes to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying on that. So. For sure. And then what's the uh, what's the third one? On my own. All right, let's talk about that one. Um. Cause you already said you rapping on your own. Yeah. You chilling on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole thing for real. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you gonna be like you like that that, that dark. That whole, like, I don't need nobody. Like no nigga to do nothing for me. <laughs> At this point. No, I like, stay like that though. Stay yeah. like that. I mean, of course, oh. we all need some people sometimes. Sometimes I need this dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cut me whole 50. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, couldn't, I can't get on my own. So I need some help, bud. <laughs> yeah. And I can't pay you back. <laughs> but it's like, it be like that sometimes. It be like that. So you you said, uh, you talk about uh, Eastside 80s. Mm -hmm. I, I be having to get hips like some, some of the younger younger people. So give me a top five that you that you rock with in Detroit that, that may be on some young junk that I need to know, that I might not know. Or ain't we got like, top five. my age? Mm-hmm. In that age, in like you know, between your age and like twenty three, something like that. It's the younger crowd because people be naming people. I don't be knowing who the heck they is. See, I like payroll and Vezo and yeah, I was about Sabre. to say that. Yeah. Um. Well, I know some people like um, you know, Chucky CEO, um, Brooklyn Queen. Oh, yeah, um, Brooklyn. She went to my son's school. Who else? That's the only two I can think about right now. Yeah, now, who are some of them older Detroit cats that you rock with? Payroll. Yeah, um, payroll is probably the coldest. T. Yeah. Um, Jay Swan. Yeah. Who else? You listen to like that old, old, like Blade? Are you? No. See, this is what you do. <laughs> this, is gonna be, this is what I want you to do. When you get to the crib, it ain't got to be a day, but within the next couple of days, just start going back and listening to like some older, old junk. So then, cause sometimes they help you, cause like people like Snoop Dogg, for him, check him out for instance. He go back and he listens to like people way before his time. Yeah. And then you gotta listen to people outside the uh, rap and um and um and um, R and B genre, mm -hmm. cause then that may that help your creativity for real, because you start getting the different bands. Don't just be like listening to like the same type of you know saying sound yeah. because you gonna have that same type of sound. So go back and listen to like some. Uh, I'm gonna give you K D Z. Mm -hmm. So listen to a CD called Stuck in My Ways. Alright. And then right. you're gonna get hyped. Right. <laughs> and you go if you don't be in the vibe to go ahead and write some junk to, to that, like it's gonna make you for real. Like that like cause I be doing a little music, so I like to listen to like people from like in the eighties or something. So I listen to like some old junk. Mm -hmm. Like when it was like the basic beats and everything. And sometimes make you cause if you listen to the same junk, then you're gonna be kinda like following that pattern and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. So if you listen to some junk like that, you just out the norm, 
Yeah, switch it up. Peasy hard too. Yeah, Peasy. Yeah. I just started liking Peasy like yesterday. For real? <laughs> yeah, for real. Like I just everybody kept talking about, you know what I'm saying, Peasy. I'm like, I'm good. But then one day I was at work listening to him like that. Yeah, you you can't pass him up. I don't care what nobody say. You can't tell me he trash. Yeah, yeah. Like, I thought hard. so for a minute, but then you know what I'm saying, I had to apologize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now everybody keep talking about what's name. I ain't heard him yet, uh Babyface Ray. You yeah, right? he he hard, he yeah, hard, yeah. you know. See, I gotta get, I gotta get hip, I gotta get. Hip. Sometimes I be stuck in my ways and just listen to who I know straight, and then don't even be trying to listen to nobody else. Yeah. But since doing this podcast, I've been having to listen to everybody. Like, you know what? That ain't that bad. Peasy straight, and he just got uh, out of jail, whatever. So yeah. who who's some people from the city that you want to work with? Uh, Peasy. Uh. Hmm. You know, I want to work with Days Loaf. Days Loaf? Yeah. You got to get her out the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> out the crib. <laughs> um, PZ Day, Days Loaf. T. Yeah, T Grizzly. Because um, they, they probably going to be watching this. Like, you know what, bet We about to mess with her. She on the best podcast in the world. <laughs> we going to go ahead and rock with her. She, you know what I'm saying? She got to be dope on his, on his yeah. show. Um, probably Jay Swan. Hey Swan. Yeah. Okay, good bet. Now you got you got a lot of singles out when you when you dropping a project. Yeah, n- not right now. Why not? What's what, what talk to me? What's going on? Well, I'm not really in like a project mode right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cuz really right now I'm trying to just build that foundation so like that project don't really flop over. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, Cuz yeah, yeah, yeah. I see people they do projects and it just be up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it don't be doing no type of numbers, none of that. And I just don't see no point in it. It's like you just throwing it out there to me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. so you just buy, you just focusing on singles right now? Yeah. So if you do drop a project, what what would it be? Would it be an album, EP, something short? Probably something short, you know. Get yeah. a little get a little something, something. Yeah, 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 heck yeah. No, but no, that's cool too, because like they be telling me like like you say, if you ain't got that fan base for real, you drop a whole project, ain't nobody really really listen to it, so you waste a whole project. Instead Basically, of just dropping singles yeah. and then so at the end of the I think what's said that uh Troy at the end of the year you damn near got a, a whole body of work by just your singles because like I said you got a lot of singles that just on YouTube you had like at least about what a good 10 12 singles on that yeah. boy and then I was going back listen to your SoundCloud jump like and you could hear it like because you've been doing it for a while so you ain't gonna do nothing but get better right because you yeah. you said what 15 14 yeah you 17 so you are right, that's three years in so once you do that you know what I'm saying you be straight but I like I said you should just definitely like Start listening to some different people out the norm. Because, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all know, dudes you hang with, girls you hang with, like, what the hell was that? Yeah. Like, this is like some Method Man or something. Like, what about Eminem? You ever mess with him? Because I don't. Yeah. <laughs> he, you know, he was popping. <laughs> <laughs> he from Detroit. <laughs> no. He was popping at one point. Yeah, but just listen to as many people as you can. Like, I'm, I'm quite sure you got, like, Tidal or Apple or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just go in that boy and just, just, just search somebody the randomest junk and just start peeping and checking it out. So what's your uh, what's your what's your goals with the uh with the with the music? Really, just to get noticed. Yeah. That's my main goal. Mm-hmm. Cause somebody gonna pick me up. Yeah, yeah. So that's what y'all looking for. Y'all looking for a deal, a partnership? No, not like that. Just to get noticed. Yeah, yeah. you gotta yeah. Get that. see the best thing. You gotta get that partnership. I know, bro, probably know about that. Jen. Like, just get the partnership or something. Cause you don't want to get that deal and they have you on the shelf, or be you know what I'm saying. Then you get lost in the shelf or whatever. Partnership is always the uh, the main thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, then you can get most of your bread and you ain't getting, you know what I'm saying, messed around like everybody else be getting messed around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sign that good 360 deal or whatever. Like, damn. They I can get $2 for every $100 they make? <laughs> for real. So you want to stay in Detroit for, like, or move away? Like, say the music don't pop off. Do you always want to be in Detroit or you want to sit venture off? I'm going to make my way through and then I'm probably going to like venture off. Yeah, because the best thing everybody else doing is going to Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be called Detroit, Atlanta, or something. Detroit, Georgia, for real. Wait, everybody down there. So, what about? Give me your uh, short term goals and long term goals. What's some junk you want within the next year with the music, and what's something you want in the next five years? So, right, like next year, what you, what you want to be at? If it's followers, if it's if it's an album, if it's working with somebody, what's some what's some short term goals that you want? Mm. In the next year, I want to at least have like a. Like a feature with somebody, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like big. Mm-hmm. And then five years, probably just like really living. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that living, living. <laughs> what you, 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 two, three car garage living, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, now, now, uh, you got what's the name? You got you. I know you probably too young to know about making the band. 
Megan who? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Megan the Bad was Diddy's show, right? So this okay. this one I was your age, Ashley, and he had this show where everybody tried out, and he had five people make it. Matter of fact, one of the people from Detroit, name was Sarah. She mm. was a singer, so she had four singers. I mean, four rappers and a singer. So it, it was living in his house and stuff. So you had like a, like it was like almost like American Idol. Mm. So you trying out for his rap group. So he, he he narrowing it down, narrowing it down to like twenty people in the house, and he chopping it down until he make a band. Mm. It was like five people. So it's you. And four other people in this band. Who is the old, four other people that you want in your one album band? This one album, you working with these four people. Who's gonna be? Okay. Um. So I'm included, right? Yeah. And you, okay. you gotta pick four other people. All right. So I'm gonna have to choose my brother Purge. All right. Um. Got your love. Got your love to Purge. Yeah. Shut up, Purge. <laughs> All right. You, you know got three more people. Um. I'm gonna have to do peasy. All right. Because I'm I'm building I'm building something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you got peasy, you got purge, you got yourself, um, and you got two more. Who else? I probably had to say Doug. Oh, yeah. 42? Yeah. Yeah. He brings something, something. Um, the last one. I'll probably have to put another like girl. Yeah, I say you y'all you, thug like right now. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> Man. I'm surprised you ain't saying who I think you about to say. Who? Days Loaf. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She she might as well get up in there too then. Yeah, yeah Days yeah. Loaf. Y'all might have, you know saying forced to you know get out to, to the studio, but you know, y'all got that's a straight. So you, Purge, Forty Two, PZ, and Days Loaf. Yeah. Y'all y'all coming with albums? Yeah. Is it doing something? Yeah, it's doing something. <laughs> so what you gonna like? What's gonna you you gonna be like? All right, so you rap, you with rappers and stuff. Are you gonna be like, all right, I'm I'm, I'm focused on the hook, or you want you want them verses too? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get in on the verses too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heck, you know that's funny, mud dog. She, she went all hood gangster style on you, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> so what's your uh? Give me a give me a definition of a uh, successful career for for you. Like when you when you old like me, <laughs> what you see like as a successful career? Like, dang, I made it. Like, mm. Probably like when you at a point when you ain't got no worries and none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. peace yeah. type stuff. Yeah, 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 you, for sure. You know, probably just that, really. Yeah, but you got come on. You got no talk about the cash. You got to have this, this check. Like, I mean, this yeah, bag. yeah, like you straight. You yeah. sit good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That comes with it. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's kind of like peace yeah. at that point. Oh no, no, it, but. It could be peace, but yeah, that, that money can, can also stuff. bring some, yeah. bring some unpeace. Like, yeah. You being that boy, everybody and their mama, you got brothers and cousins, you don't even know. They coming yeah. to you like, hey, what up? Let me get this, let me get that. So you, all right, let's, let's get off the music for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You 17. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You about to be 18. Yeah. You ready for that next level? Yeah. Like that real life? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I, I can't stop it. No, you know what I'm saying? No, hopefully you can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, cause, because I said it because, like I said, Shit gonna get real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you ain't about to get kicked out the house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't no timetable with that. Well, some parents to kick you out the house. But but ain't no timetable with that. But you just got to know, like, that's when stuff start getting real. Mm -hmm. Decisions start being for real. And I told my son this the other day because he's 14. Like, one thing to never think is you got time. Mm -hmm. Always always make it seem like time. You running out of time. Yeah. Because yeah. if you think you got time, you be like, yeah, I got time. I'm 18. Then you be like. Man, I got time. I'm 25. Yeah. Like, damn, I ran out of time. I'm 40. Like, yeah. like damn, it's over. <laughs> so now you're going to be wishing that you did some things different. I mean, even I'll be hoping, like, I'm wishing, like, I could have did some things different. But one thing you should focus on, make sure you don't mess that credit up either. Yeah. Don't be getting no cable or DT bills and stuff and you can't handle it. Like, make sure you, because <laughs> you'll be messed up. So what you what you going to miss about being a kid? What's the one thing, like, dang, I, I, I'm going to miss that, though, for real? Um. Probably just like doing wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't just like. I feel like once you grown and you think you can just like do some wild stuff, <laughs> like it ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So you get a deal tomorrow. What's the first three things you gonna buy? Yeah, I like that. Um, <laughs> probably my grandma headstone. Like, okay. yeah, that'd be one for sure. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Um, my mama house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then just like like the other like all the other half probably just give back for sure. Yeah, so, 
Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now tell me, uh, your, your um, you say your mama house, headstone, and get back. Take away that one. Give me your real third one. <laughs> but I get back. Like what you like, give me a car, a dream car, like. I mean, yeah, car. Yeah. Cause you know, everybody, you saying the right thing. You ain't gotta say the right thing on my show. You can always yeah. say the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not too wrong, God stop you. But yeah. you know what I'm saying. But no, definitely like that headstone junk is important because it be some. My dad, I don't think he still got one, bro. I don't know where. Uh, I don't. Even, I got looking. I don't even know where he buried it. I've been there one time. That's when we, he we buried him in junk for real. So no, that's 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 dope right there. Mm. And you always gotta get mom's a crib. Yeah. You can't do mom's dirty. Gotta get you know purge crib. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, damn, you forgot about me, blood. <laughs> no, we all gonna be up in there, gang, gang. You know yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, give me uh, give me uh, give me your a top five, your top five uh singers. You sing? Yeah. You got one? Do I have one or all five? All five. Do you got top five singers, or you you need mix some rappers in that boy? Okay. Um. Well, Keisha Cole, she won, like I said. Yeah, she's did the versus battle. Um, Tink, she hard. Hey, I ain't heard that name in a while, but she's straight though. Um, who else? Alicia Keys, yes. Oh yeah, Alicia Keys, yeah, nice. She hard. For heck real. yeah, heck yeah. Um, I got two more. Uh. I can't add myself in there, can I? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sure. yeah, I'm in there, then. I'm in there. Hey, you better? Um, Put some respect on your name, huh? Who the last one? Dang, I can't even think right now. Um, There's so many singers. Yeah, well, I probably had to say Whitney, even though she know she no longer here, but yeah, Whitney, yeah, she no, she dope. Her. Yeah, yeah, Whitney used to dope them up. And she, I didn't know how dope she was. Till I got older, though. but yeah, she 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 for sure dope. Now, do you be watching like the versus battle? I only watched that one with Keisha and her. Okay, who who who? What's two people you want to see battle? Two of your two of your 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 peoples. I would just we were just having this conversation before. Um, your dream your dream scenario or dream battle that you want to see two people like singers, singers, rappers, whoever. All right. Um. If Whitney was still alive, I probably had to say like Whitney or somebody. But the only person, that'd have been like that'd yeah, have been the only person pressure. she probably go against is probably like Mariah Carey. Whitney, Mariah Carey, who you got, cuz in that one? Whitney. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whitney, Mariah Carey be dope. Whitney, Mariah Carey be dope. Then what? Uh, so with your, you know, what I'm saying you got the music. You got what? 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 Uh, the project coming out. Say you got a project coming out next month. What's What's gonna be a title? On my own, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm chilling in the cut line. <laughs> um, I don't even know. Like you on spot right now, you gotta get it. three minutes, or you ain't getting. You no, know, right now, or you, or we kicking you to the curve. You, you out this. All right. Um, <laughs> you out this music. You out this music deal. This is tough. No, no. Probably just probably be my name or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, something just to introduce you? Yeah, that's what yeah. people... Brandy, had Brandy. Hey, so hey, they know who you is and just like that. Monica. Oh, yeah, Monica. Heck yeah, dog. See, yeah, you got to listen to Monica. It's old school Monica and Brandy. I love Brandy, but people don't love her like me. But yeah, she cold. Don't say nothing wrong, dog. She cold in mud. <laughs> hey, you know, so uh, we talked about the school stuff. We talked about the music. Mm. You 17. 17 yeah. more years, you'll be 34. What you gonna be? You have a family? Like what you what what's your what's your what's your what's your dream at thirty four? Like you gonna be a family a family woman, on my own woman? <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. <laughs> Rich woman? Like who who would you at thirty four? Um, and all right, what about this? At thirty four, if you ain't if you ain't got a deal, you still doing music? Yeah, I'm still doing music. So ain't no age cap for you? No. Like oh, if I ain't by this time, I quit. Like, it's no, gonna be music no. is gonna be life forever. It ain't it ain't no stopping. Okay, okay. At all. So 34, you 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 got family? I'm rich, still doing music, no more. <laughs> <laughs> now you got twelve thousand followers. Yeah. So do you do you like what's the what's what's the crazy junk you may have seen that somebody might have commented or DM'd you? That you like had that to, happened? Like like and you had to maybe had to tell bro like hey, you see this wild shit right here? Yeah. Uh Talk about Jada Kiss, he DM'd me. Uh huh. Go ahead. I'm gonna tell you about that. And. I went to my brother. I'm like, somebody famous DM me. Yeah. I showed him. Yeah. He like, 
that's Jada Kiss. I'm like, who? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I ain't even know. Girl, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm like, Man. I don't even, I don't even know him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody with a blue check. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we, you know, we chopped it up and stuff. But it was just funny because yeah. I ain't even know. But my brother looking at me like, are you serious right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you know that that would be crazy. I need somebody to go ahead and inbox me on some junk like that. Like, what up, cuz? Dang, you had to go, up, bro, and ask him who this was, though. See? Yeah. Gotta go ahead, go back. Take yeah. take a step back and start, you know, saying peeping that junk. So we be doing this junk on the show called uh, Top Three. I give you a scenario. I mean, a uh, uh, um, a topic, or you give me your top three. Mm-hmm. Give me your top three foods. Oh, food! I love food too. <laughs> um, probably like taco salad. Taco be, salad. Yeah, I be banging yeah, that. Yeah, we used to love taco salad back in the day. Uh, um, pizza. Not, yeah, you 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 on you on point right now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, probably like tacos, but from yeah. like Southwest or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So you want the authentic real tacos? I know yeah. Taco Bell for sure. Yeah. All right, give me your top three uh movies. Top three movies. Um. Man. Are you ain't a movie person? No, I'm a movie person. Yeah. But you know, sometimes I'll be watching movies and then I just start forgetting about titles and stuff. <laughs> but um Man. One would probably have to be uh Heaven is for real. Cause that one when I first seen it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get hit. I gotta get hit I mean, I don't think I seen that one before. Yeah, it was about like a little boy. He like passed, I think. Yeah. And then, like, he came back to life and stuff, and he was like telling his parents oh, straight? about okay. how he seen Jesus and stuff. Oh, dang. I gotta, I gotta get hip to that. All right, mm-hmm. we got two more. What's the other two? Um, on oh, my own the, one? What was the movie when the dude got shot at the car? Oh, yeah. The, uh, I, Hate You Give. Oh, yeah. That was dope. Yeah, that was yeah. dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was dope. Dang, that was messed up. When my man got the hair brushing junk or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's my man who play on a uh, new edition movie. Uh, he playing uh Ralph Transvan on new edition, and he on that um that new junk too, that uh Judas the uh, Black Panther movie. Mm. He in that junk. All right, you got one more, one more. You need you need this uh some comedy or something, some hood junk. Some comedy, probably on um, Friday. Oh yeah, you gotta go Friday. I mean, how yeah. old you is? You ain't never too young to uh, have some Friday <laughs> in your life. All right, give me your top three. Give me your top three. Top three childhood crushes. When you was like, like, like artists? Middle school. Yeah, I don't want to know about Craig and Dante and stuff like that. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um. <laughs> like Craig okay. from the seventh grade. Homeroom. Um, <laughs> I didn't really have, like, crushes. Like, for real. Yeah. Like, August, I seen her, like, you know. Okay, that's one. That was one. Um. About a while. No. That's funny. It's funny how uh, the younger the younger girls like right. Bob, everybody girls my age you love Bow Wow though. Um That was really it, really. Oh, because I seen you had you yeah. had posters up? No, I was on Facebook. I used to like be on your wallpaper. I mean, on your, yeah. On your, uh, your profile things. picture and junk. Yeah, it used to be one of the things. Alright, give me give me your uh give me your top three shows. T V shows. Oh yeah, I got those. Um I'm watching this one called New Amsterdam. It's like a like a doctor show, mm-hmm. shit good. All right. Then I'm watching 911, and then The Shy. Oh, Shy, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, The Shy Cold. All American, good too. Oh yeah, All American. Yeah, I'll be on that junk heavy. All American get you get you have a tear in your little bit. Yeah, though. it's too like, it's too real. <laughs> Sometimes you be real. like, oh man, dang, where this tear come from? Yeah. <laughs> like, go back to us. <laughs> All right, give me your um, uh, give me your top three. You young, but give me your top three young moments in life. Young moments. Yeah, like give me your top three moments that so far. Your, you know what I'm saying. Your seventeen years, like the most exciting. Yeah, most exciting. It could be. It, it could be. So it'll be a, a sad time. You might remember that. You be like, no, what this gonna, you know, this gonna pay off. One is when like I graduated from preschool. Okay. That, was, <laughs> that, was, that was so lit. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Everybody was at my graduation. That's, man. What, that's what's up. <laughs> preschool uh, with this boy. Shout out preschool. <laughs> Not everybody go to preschool. Though, no, I you know didn't. What I'm saying? I went straight to kindergarten. Yeah, I got the extra education. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's the other two? Um, I know the one that's about to be probably is graduation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so we can go ahead and put it's that gonna, in there. It's gonna be lit. Yeah. Sure. yeah. What's the um, what's the third? 
Probably being uh, like uh, when I performed out in New York. Okay. Last That's, year. Is that the one that was on your um on your IG uh, story? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was dope. So y'all was in New York. Uh, who all went? It was me, my two brothers, and my mama. Okay. Okay. What y'all? What made y'all go out there? Just that performance strictly? Yeah. It was like a performance thing, really. Mm -hmm. Like um. You know, everybody was battling everybody, basically, you know. Yeah. So. Was you nervous? Yeah. That was your first performance? No, it was like my second. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I remember, I, though, I was watching the performances with me, though. I was looking hella stupid. I was so scared. <laughs> 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 so, was uh you, you so you performed in the, in, uh, in the city? Yeah, actually, I think that was my last per, uh, f performance. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, now, what what's uh, what'd be a bigger moment for you? Your song being played on the radio? Or somebody famous shouting your song out on IG? Probably on the radio. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Because I had my song um, shouted out yeah. one time. But I'm saying, all right, the, the, all right, your song on the radio or Peasy shouting your song out on IG? Oh, yeah, Peasy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I didn't going to switch that joke over yeah. ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. All right, well, shoot, man, that's, uh, it was good to have you on the show. Appreciate it. Make sure you put that music out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make sure you go ahead and listen to as many people as you can listen to. Okay. And make sure you you stay on their head on, on on social media. Cause my little bro had to put me on like, dog, you gotta be on that junk every day. Yeah. So even like even like say um your latest single, if it's something that you wanna you know saying increasing um in views or whatever or just just start um DMing people. No, I I be going crazy when it comes down to promotion. Yeah. Like, if if I show you. Yeah. Like you gonna be like, dang, like I promote so much until like. I be getting my, like, accounts to... Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, you got... I, and you know what? <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm I put ran you on through, like, though. five pages already. Yeah, the thing about it is if you send too many DMs in the hour, yeah. they'll stop it. Yeah. I learned that, John. So you got to do 10 per hour. 10? Yes. I no. be trying to do, like, 20. <laughs> no, because they'll stop it. Because one time in the middle of the night, I was going ham. I sent yeah. about 50 uh, links to different people. And that's thing you know, it was like, I couldn't send nothing out for, like, two weeks. They be trying to threaten you on there, though. Yeah, for sure. You can't say the right, wrong thing. Everything they be like, and you gotta kind of like mix up what you saying. You can't just keep sending the same link. Yeah. They ain't gonna think you spamming. Yeah. So you gotta go ahead and be like, hey, show me some love. Hey, how you doing? Like, it gotta be something, <laughs> yeah. they gotta be something different attached to the link or whatever. So yeah, I know about that. All well, too Facebook well. though, like I just be copying and pasting it. In. I was like, do you work with Facebook? Because most young people say that's for old people. No, I'm in there. When oh. it comes down to like promotions, <laughs> yeah. like I'm on there for sure. Cause. So like, I already had, like, three pages took because I just been promoting like crazy. <laughs> oh, and that's on the IG? No, nah, that's on Facebook. Oh, dang. They taking on Facebook for it? Yeah. Cause I know they be taking, like, I know my my brother said he going to whip my ass one time. And they uh, they gave that nigga a warning, dog. <laughs> like, you got to you gotta watch what you say on that jump. Facebook be on some bull crap. They be hating, dog. Snapchat kind of do the same thing. See, I ain't no, I ain't really, I ain't no snapper. For real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be, you be on Twitter and stuff like that, like. No. Okay, okay. No, no. that's why I heard, like, for I don't be understanding Twitter. No, I don't either. I, I, I had it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I still got the same, you just beat her in your phone, really. I got the same 15 followers on that boy. Like, hello. <laughs> so, matter of fact, speaking of social media, tell people where they can find you at. My Instagram is official.aliyah. My YouTube is Aaliyah Bryant. My Twitter is Aaliyah84. Um... My don't, don't, snap. don't hear up on Twitter though. She ain't on. Yeah, I'm, you're not probably gonna get messages. I ain't gonna lie. Then my snap is this is Aaliyah. Okay, now where can they uh, where can they peep the music? Right now, just on YouTube at Aaliyah Bryant, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be on all platforms soon. Okay, okay, and she dropping that uh the EP on my own volume one. Oh yeah, you, you tripping? <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> volume two coming next year. <laughs> so y'all, uh, so uh, what's some what's some what's some you want to leave people with? Like what you got like some like. Don't do drugs. Like, what's something you want to rem people to remember? Like, this your last words on this show? Like motivation type. It could be yeah, it could be somebody that. Yeah. Um, just keep going. You yeah. know, and don't stop. That's really it for real. Cause time's gonna get hard. Oh yeah, for I sure. believe in times can get hard. So yeah. Just stay focused and keep going. Mm -hmm. Cause you know some people be like, um, your dreams gonna come true. You know, everybody yeah. say that. <laughs> but. I, you know, you can say that, but just just keep going. Yeah, that's funny you say that because everybody who be on those uh, those uh, shows like like American Idol when they get kicked off, like this ain't, <laughs> yeah. this ain't the last you heard from me. <laughs> like, yeah. I ain't never seen you again. I do that job. Yeah. <laughs> no, my thing is uh, if you got a team of people, man, get it on your own. Yeah, <laughs> I swear. Shout out to everybody. I'll let you boy.